Hello and welcome back to art class. Uh, today we are going to uh, start a new project. Uh, this new project has to do with the artist Wayne Tebow, as you can see here in the picture. Uh, Wayne Tebow is an artist, he's an American artist. He was born in 1920, uh, so over a hundred years ago. He is still alive actually. Uh, he is 101st birthday will be this November. Yeah. Um, he uh, did a series of art that we're going to focus on for our project and his artwork had to do with candies and uh, sugary things that uh, people would consider at, uh, today what we call pop art, which means it's taking something that everybody knows and is really popular and making it the subject of your picture. In this case, you can see here the gumballs or gumball machines. He simplified the background. As you can see, his backgrounds are pretty simple. They're not, they're not very detailed, but the item itself is very detailed. So the gumball machine has a lot of detail to it. And you can see a dramatic shadow on the ground in the picture. Another one that kind of the same goes with the style was he picked uh, some lipsticks, so there wasn't just limited to candies and things like that. And he has expanded past doing candies and, and things like that over the years. Uh, but this is the one he's most famous for is this series of pictures. In the next picture, you can see the ice cream cones. Those are a really popular painting of his. Uh, that sit on a tray. Um, if you've ever been to Tones Cones, they actually have a tray that's kind of like that where they sit the ice cream while they're waiting for people to pick them up that they ordered them. Uh, here in these next two pictures uh, are cakes that he painted. And they're pretty much the same. Uh, one's just a little bit uh, darker with the darker shadows. And this is the series that he got really famous for. He also did a series with pies. Um, that you need to know. And I just wanted to show you these. Uh, the last one I want to show you to give you an idea of uh, Wayne Tebow's artwork is a, one he did just recently um, in 2010. So it's a, just a few years ago. And it was for Google. Uh, everybody knows the company Google. And they needed a picture for their 12th birthday because Google's only been around for a few years and so they wanted a special one and they had him paint a picture and then they photographed it to put it online as their symbol for Google for the day um, and they as you can see in this little uh, picture here that I, I have a copy of uh, that uh, Google specifically went to Wayne Tebow to ask for a picture from him and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of honor his uh, kind of art and we're going to create our own picture so if you're looking at my picture you'll see that you're gonna need a few things you're gonna need a pencil you're gonna need an eraser um, and that's what we're gonna need for today this is gonna to be a two-parter so we're gonna do the, the drawing today and we'll deal with the coloring uh, uh, next week because there's a special way I want to color it what I need you to do is flip your paper in over here like side to side because it makes it easier to fold it in half like a book so try to get those edges lined up as best as you can you do it this way. Sometimes people find it easier to actually pick it up and make the edges come together like this and then they carefully pinch the bottom whichever way it works for you. So now it looks like a little card or book. Then I'm gonna have you open it up. This is just gonna mark the middle. I'm gonna turn it this way okay. and I did well, we actually need one other thing. We need a straight edge. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a ruler. That's always, I know that's straight, so I'm a ruler. And here's how it's going to work. Uh, we are going to draw a cupcake. Okay? And in the picture, you can see this cupcake that I have right here. I'm going to keep next to me. Now, I'm just going to use this as my basic cupcake look. I'm not going to worry about color today because I'm not going to have mine be these colors here, but it does give me the basic look of a, of a cupcake. So we need the bottom part, and if we look at the bottom part, it's actually a trapezoid type shape in the side view here. So that is what we're going to make here. We're going to use a trapezoid. So the first line is going to be pretty easy. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my paper back to this way and I'm going to draw the line where the cake part is and then the top part will be frosting. And I don't need my straight edge because I'm going to use the fold to actually draw my straight line. 
and I'm gonna make it pretty wide. I want it so there's, you could probably get about three fingers on each side. So you can get about three fingers on each side. So that is, up here is gonna be frosting, down here, the cupcake, the cake part, and the wrapper part. Okay, this is where the straight edge comes in. Um, you can freehand this, but maybe mom and dad can hold this, or you know, like if you just have an actual box and hold it in place, like a stencil, that would be good too. Okay, so we don't want the line to go straight down. This is actually not very good, so I'm gonna draw this line in so you can see it. Straight down is not good. We're gonna actually gonna need it to be tilted just a little bit, okay? So let me erase this so it looks good. And I'm gonna use my straight edge, and this happens to be really, and I'm gonna slant it, I want it slanted just a little bit. And I want it to go close to the bottom, but I need about three or four finger spaces from the bottom. We need to leave room for the dramatic shadow that Wayne Tebow's style has. So there's a straight line there. And then I'm gonna take my ruler and the same thing here. This has gotta be, it should not be straight down. It's actually gotta be slanted just a little bit. So normally we go straight down, but I actually need it to be slanted. So I'm gonna tilt it. And again, mom and dad can help maybe hold the ruler or box or whatever you're using for a straight edge. Okay, now mine's not exactly slanted the same, and that is totally fine. We just need to be pretty close. Because if you think about it, cupcakes don't come out always 100% slanted exactly on the sides the same. The last thing we need to do is get a straight line here. Okay, so we're going to use our ruler or straight edge, or maybe a box or whatever you're using, and you're gonna draw a straight line for the bottom. Okay. So this is the basic cupcake look, the bottom part of the cupcake. We also are gonna need some lines, and I'm gonna use my free hand, I'm not gonna use a ruler for this, to draw in the folds for the cupcake, because if you look at the cupcake, it's got little folds on the wrapper. That way you can peel it off pretty easy. Okay. Now. Um, I only am putting three or four here. Do not put 50 in here because we have to color this area and we want big spaces to make coloring easier. We do not want to make it difficult for ourselves. Okay, so three or four little lines in there. Um, like I said, I have four here. Three would be perfect as well. Now, we need to deal with the frosting. So I'm gonna simplify the look of the frosting a little bit here. Uh, so I'm gonna turn my paper because I find it easier to draw my frosting sideways. I know that sounds crazy, um, but I find it easier to turn this way. You can still draw this way. And I, I will do it this way just so you can see it easier, but you can turn your paper if it's easier. Uh, what it is is I'm gonna use ovals to build up my frosting. So I'm going to make my frosting. I like a lot of frosting in my pick my cupcakes. So I'm gonna make sure my frosting is a little bit bigger than my cupcake, the actual cake part down here. So I'm gonna make it bigger and it's gonna be an oval. And I can fit about three to four fingers inside because I said this is a big cupcake. So this is the first layer of frosting. Then I am going to add another layer. It's gonna be smaller though. If you look at the cupcake in my picture, it gets smaller towards the top, so it needs to be, it's still the same thickness, so it's gonna be pretty tall, but it's gonna be shorter on the sides. So I'm going to do another oval. Like that. And again, I can fit about, two, about three or four fingers inside. And I'm gonna add one third layer here. It's gonna be about the same thickness, but it's gonna be a little bit shorter on the sides. Like that. And then if you want, a lot of people like to put a cherry on top, so I'm going to draw a cherry on top. I'll put a little stem on it. If you wanna put maybe yours comes with something else, or maybe you have a gumdrop on there. Okay. Uh, and this is where we're gonna leave it for today. Uh, we are going to be adding a shadow next week and we're gonna add some shadow and coloring to 
uh, the picture here. So I need us to get this far today, okay? And I will see you next week. Make sure to take a picture of this and turn it in.